days ahead of us. And this morning we have Kevin and Connie Schumacher are going to come. I've asked them to share their story. You see them every week at the Welcome Center. They're there to open it up every week. And uh, I've had the joy of many years uh, working alongside of them and being with them. Uh, every Sunday morning I walk out and they're there setting up. And, I, and I'll say, good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Connie. And they'll say, good morning, Steve. And I'll realize we're back here and the joy begins. So I wondered, Connie, if you would start first and just share some about your story. Um, I was raised in an affluent home with, um, the, and we went to church every Sunday. Um, my mom was an alcoholic, and my dad was a workaholic. Um, and I learned at an early age how to be a codependent um, because all my friends at school made fun of me because my mom was always drunk. And so I learned to lie for her and to cover up for her. And then in the home, um, we also learned how to try to diffuse problems between my mom and my dad. And I swore I would never be like her. But by the time I was in high school, I was leaving at lunch with my friends and we would do drugs and come back high. After graduation, I moved to Mammoth and um, the people I hung out with did stronger drugs and stronger alcohol and within a year I was hit by a motorcycle and suffered a serious head injury um, and this was because I had been hallucinating and I ran right in front of it. Um, I had to move home for the recovery but I continued doing drugs and alcohol and um, then in 83 I met Kevin um, three months later, we got, we moved in with each other, and three months after that, we got married. And all of this was in a drug and drunken stupor. Um, and our, our life together for the next two and a half years was the same thing, just downhill the whole time. Until one day, I came home from work and told him that I was um, going to leave him, that I wanted a divorce because I was tired of it. Uh, my story, <clears throat> story uh, begins much like Connie's in that I was also uh, uh, raised in a single um, parent home. My mother was an alcoholic. My father left before I was born. Um, the men that my mother brought into the home were uh, alcoholic also. Um, one of them molested me. I got into drugs and alcohol uh, very young and then got into uh, uh, construction trade and, and bars and restaurants where I could continue that lifestyle up until the time I met Connie. Um, <clears throat> I partied very hard and um, I had become horribly addicted and uh, alcoholic at that time and I uh, cried out to God. A couple of weeks later I asked Connie if um, before she left, she would allow her insurance to pay for me to get into rehab. And uh, that's where we began to see God working in our life as he strategically placed Christians in the secular rehab, then in Alcoholics Anonymous, and then I ran into an old friend at a gas station um, who had also gotten sober and he invited me to a place uh, where they did a lot of Bible study called Bible Study Fellowship. It was there sitting under a lecture that Bill Anglis was teaching on the life and letters of Paul in Corinthians where Paul talks about uh, a number of different categories of sin, most of which I fell into. And then he said, but such were some of you. And that's where I realized that I've been saved. It's amazing that right at the same time, Connie had also been invited to BSF by uh, my friend's wife, and she was saved around the same time. Um, so that was the beginning of our walk with the Lord. That's amazing. Absolutely awesome. What an awesome God we have. I know that he has also helped you guys spill over in new ways in your life. Tell us a little bit about that. In the uh, 20 years since then, um, we've seen God work in amazing ways. Uh, 
we've done everything in the small and large churches we've been part of, uh, from the pulpit to the toilet. We've <laughs> ministered just about every way you can think of. Um, probably the most important thing to our family that Jesus has done is that he's broken the chain of horrible addiction and alcoholism. <laughs> and here I was thinking that I cried the first time, I'm not going to have to this time. Um, my daughters didn't have to go through that. <laughs> and um, they don't have to be part of the sex and drugs and rock and while well, rock and roll, yes, because they, <laughs> they serve on the worship team, and so it's <laughs> rock and roll to Jesus only. So. But um, now we are blessed to be a part of the ministry here, and we're uh, doing the uh, Strong Tower slash um, Celebrate Recovery ministry, and um, that's a blessing also to uh, allow the Lord to work through us and use that part of our past to help others. Our God's awesome. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you.